What's going on? You were not able to join because an unexpected internal error occurred. Okay, well, let's try again, I guess. There we go. Thank you guys uh, so much for joining us here. What's going on? Welcome back. And if you guys were here for the last draft, uh, ant gate is no longer an issue. So, they were not ants. They were just spots on the wall. I'm surprised I had never noticed them before, but mm, here we are. So... Now you have laser eyes and can see the wall spots. That's hilarious because maybe the reason I never noticed them before was because they just weren't clear at this at this at this distance. Maybe I would look up there and be like, "Looks totally normal." But now since I can actually see the spots, I'm like, "Oh wow, those must be ants." That's hilarious. I wonder if that's actually what's going on. Turned out to be roach poo, huh? I do not think that's what this was. Yeah, I'm a big fan of bats. Bats are cuties. Bats are basically flying pupper, puppers. Ooh, a Blood Crypt, and an Arcway Angel, and a Sphinx of New Prob. This card should be uncommon. This card is bonkers. Getting, getting one of your guys plus one plus one and returning a guy to your hand is pretty much insane. Also, get the point. This pack is actually great. I do not think Blood Crypt is worth anything. Uh, fortunately, it's worth one dollar. Laser Eyes, Drugs, they're all, it's all the same. What, what difference is... Okay, I don't think it's Syndicate Guild Mage. I think if we're gonna, we're, like, it's either this, 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 or get, get the point. But yeah, there's a lot of directions to go, and like, whatever we pick is not really. We're either the Gate Deck, we're either Azorius, we're either Simic, or we're either Rakdos. Hmm. I think it could be Sphinx. I like Sphinx a lot. I don't want to be Azorius again, though. I kind of like going either Applied or Get the get the Point. I think Get the Point's super strong. But it's also a five-mana card in the Rakdos deck. I want to take the Applied Biomancy. I think this card's very good. Now we're taking High Alert because it's the second pick. And I kind of wish we had Sphinx, but... Oh, another Get the Point, too? Crying out loud. I actually rarely see biomancies, and the thing about biomancies is that I think it's good even if you see more. I think that's totally fine. I think high alert's probably where we want to be. Like, if we can just build around the high alert, that's pretty cool. Another biomancy. Law Mage's Binding is probably better than biomancy here. And I don't really care about Ver Verity Circle. Like, it's not super great. It was pretty good against us in the last game, but... I think that's a feature, not a bug bug not a feature eh, probably just take another applied biomancy to be honest with you could take one of these guys but I don't care I'd rather just take the biomancy I think it's stronger uh, I like sky tether but I'm probably going to take guild gate because I like being able to uh, fix our mana here a little bit if we're already in band like we just just were I'm going to take aramunculus I like Fairy Duelist a lot, but I think Aramunculus is a stronger card. Also, this seems pretty okay. We can also take Summary Judgment, but Steeple Creeper is a nice little 4-drop. Pretty bad with High Alert, though. Aeromunculus is okay with High Alert, though. I think it's one of these two. Um, 
I do like a Humongulus, actually. I think we want something cheaper, though. We're probably going to take Summary Judgment here. I think we can still splash all of these cards. I like Bring the Trial, but is Forbidding Spirit better? I don't know. It is just a 3-3 three, three for 3. It's double white. I think I'd rather have the Bring the Trial just because it kills things that we care about. Another Guildgate? Sure. I don't care about either of these three. I'll just go with the Guildgate. Expose is, again, uh, really a card I value pretty high. Do you have any idea how many fake Russian watches are on eBay? It's amazing. Really? Just fake regular watches or fake specifically Vostok watches? Wow. How many applied biomancies is too many? I don't think three is too many. Also, all three of the uncommons are still in this pack. That's pretty weird. Did someone say monkin' around deck? I don't think so. I don't think so. Ricotta? I don't know. What is that? I'm actually unfamiliar with that. What does that mean? Feltrex Pomegranate, what are you saying right now? Sort by color. All right, so we have four white cards, four green cards. I do like a good ricotta cheese. Mongulus. Mongulus. <laughs> oh, Concordia Pegasus is actually a friggin' bonus with, uh, with a high alert here. Oh, Raketa would make sense. Oh, another Watchful Giant. Another another good one with high alert. Six mana is a bit high, though, so we'll probably board that one for now. Um, So, Azoria Skyguard's great, but Mass Manipulation is probably busted, right? Can't make lasagna without some ricotta. Yeah, that's true. You can't, because then he'd mess it up. Of course, I'm actually a bigger fan of, like, Baked ZD, because uh, lasagna usually has meat in it, and I'm like, eh, I'm good. Yeah, we're going to take this mass manipulation here. I think it's pretty nuts. Quad blue is hard, but I don't think we're going to be... Uh, most of, like The overlap in our colors is blue, so I think we're actually okay with that. I like Senate Griffin here. It's white and it's blue. We already have a summary judgment. We have three applied biomancy. We have bring to trial. We have a law mages binding. Our removal is actually pretty good. Our four spot, however, is not. This isn't a... It's a non-bow with a uh, high alert, but... I mean, it's still a solid creature if you don't have your one of high alert, so I think it's okay. Wow, an Azoria Skyguard and a Hollowed Fountain? Ooh, Hollowed Fountain's nice. Is Hollowed Fountain worth anything? If it's worth like three, I'd probably take it because it's a, it's a, that's a pack, but it is worth a, it is worth less than Blood Crypt. Could also get a fourth Applied Biomancy, which I'm going to be honest with you, this never happens. I haven't seen four in a long time. I think it's probably just Skyguard. This card's pretty strong, even though it is expensive. Wow, the Gruel Spellbreaker, Sunder Shaman, and Zurta Goblin. That's pretty nuts. Yeah, eBay is usually a place you have to be careful of. I like Fairy Duelist, especially because it has, uh, it does have some synergy with High Alert. I would take the Azorius Guildgate, but I'd rather take Simic Guildgates at this point. Okay, well. Yeah, like I said, we have not seen this many in ages, and I think three is where I want my limit to be. I'm going to take the Simic Guildgate. Clan, clan Guild Mage. Okay, well. 
the gruel cards are pretty much flowing and a savage smash wow this is a lot of gruel cards we already have a bring trial i think it's courier because we have high alert i don't think i don't hate plaza of harmony i feel like it's rarely going to be a we have three gates comes in play untapped though Officer Plaza Summer. I don't think it's summer. I don't think it's summary judgment number two. It might be. Summary judgment's just pretty good. Eh, whatever. Oh, I like a syndicate messenger. Again, a 3-3 three, three with our high alert. Another Senate courier. I don't think it's any of these other cards. Open the gates is cute, but I don't, we're not main green. So like if we have our green, the odds are that we're already gonna be fixed. Whereas Senate Courier is pretty good, we could just take the 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 petitioners, but they're not they're just not very good. Got another summary judgment. I mean, I'll take it because it's removal, but like a bagel pizza, I'm Jewish and I'm not interested in that, so I doubt it's gonna fly. Well, I don't know what's going on right now. <coughs> Semiclocket? Yeah, actually, that's I'll play that if I have to. Oh, and Azorius Locket, too. Lockets for days, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this watch is fantastic, dude. Oh, this for cut a big zero is real nice. I'm a fan of this, man. What do these go for? I mean, not on eBay, like in real, like in actual, like an actual one. The guy in the article says 65, which is pretty cheap. I love that this is made in USSR. Like, that's fantastic. Oh, that's a good looking watch. 15, 15 to 200. Yeah, I guess it depends on where you get it. I imagine the prices are probably all over the place. Oh, Smothering Tide. It's probably high alert number two, right? We're keeping with the theme here. Yeah, I don't see anything else that we'd really be super pumped about here. Yeah, we're definitely taking the second high alert. And now we're gonna we're gonna prioritize the the butts here. Like you do. Lavinia. Alright, are you any good? Unlimited each opponent can cast non creature spells converting house greater than the number of lands they control? Not really. Whenever an opponent casts a spell if no man has been down. No, not great and limited. If this wasn't a defender, I'd take it, then it's just like a six six. Uh this card's actually pretty decent. It's just a solid removal spell. We could take the Titanic Brawl since we are actually... The problem is fighting. Like, we're going to have a bunch of small front guys. Oh, High Alert does actually make this... Oh, that's actually gas. That's a good point. That is one of, like, the fourth abilities on there. Hmm. It might just be Junk Troller here, actually. We have two high alerts. It's a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, Combine Guild Mage? Combine and Guild Mage seems great here, actually. So does Fairy Duelist. So does Chillbringer. All right, well, this is a pack, all right. I don't think it's second Azorius Skyguard, so I think it's one of the other three. The problem is it's six mana. I think it's Combine Guild Mage just because it makes all of our other cards so much better, but I think it's it's probably just Chillbringer. I think Chillbringer is also pretty busted. Tesa. Also, I like taking this Azorius Knight Arbiter. That guy's pretty good. That is an unblockable 5-5. Five, five. We could just take Senate Courier, which is unblockable 4-4. Four, four. But, like, even if we don't have a high alert, this guy's still pretty good, so. All 
Uh, nothing great here. I could see taking like a Thought Collapse just so we can have a counter spell, or like a Sagittarius Volley to deal with a Flyer. Oh, I forgot we had these lockets in here. We can take both these lockets out, and I still think we're in good shape here. Nert or Bert? I don't. <laughs> Azurius Nert or Bert? Yeah, that sounds about right. I'll take Thought Collapse. I like having. We don't have any counter spells yet, and I like having one counter spell on the sideboard for shenanigans. Cindervines, Justicia's Portal. Could just be Portal here. We have a Shimmer in the in the sideboard. We're not going to play. We already have a Giant that we. That's pretty high on the cutting block. I would like another uh, Simic Guildgate. That would be nice. I kind of like Geyer Engineer. Let's just play these more expensive spells a lot easier. Even just ramping into five is nice. I don't think it's Biomancy number four, despite how good it is. I don't think it's four two. I think we're just gonna take the Geyer Engineer. Uh, oh, Tower Defense. We had this last time and we didn't get to use it, but I mean, I think in the double high alert deck, it's probably okay. This guy's just a six six can attack with high alert. Uh, that might be worth it. I think it's probably better than Watchful Giant, actually. Oh, wow, that's a late Fairy Duelist that I will gladly take. Sky Tether? Sure. All right, well. Whatever. Roots and air. Just 24 playables. I would have really liked another Simic, Simic Guildgate here. All right, I'm out for the night. Good night. Josh, do you, did, Josh, did you have a captive audience deck that you wanted me to play? Did you say you were working on one? Okay, take your time then. I'm looking forward to it. Have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate it. I swear if we drop below 470, I'm going to rage. I'm going to throw my computer on the ground. This will be the lowest lowest we've been in a long time. So this is 24 cards. Uh, sort by color. All of these are green. All of these are basically blue. But they're also white. So there's actually a pretty even distribution between blue and white. But then there's more blue over here. So blue is definitely our center color for sure. Get some ants to sub. It is the least they can do. You're not wrong. I might just take Geyer Engineer out. Or Tower Defense. Giving all your guys plus five, plus five is pretty insane though, right? Could take one summary judgment. We have what is, what's our removal? Our removal is actually very good. Oh my god, Josh! God. <laughs> why? Josh, why are you like this, man? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Thank you so much, buddy. Jeez. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Josh, have a good night, man. I hope you have the best night possible. All right, so we got one, two, three. Unbelievable. I think Fairy Duelists are, are pretty much removal. Also, Mass Manipulation is great. This guy is really good with Mass Manipulation, too. Maybe just take out the Tower Defense. I think it's actually too cute. Thank you. All right, three gates. Not where I want to be. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five. We're going to go six and nine. Four, five, six, and eight. So this is eight, six, six. Five, six, seven, eight, four. Five six five six. Yeah, all right. We'll deal with it. I wish we had more. That was probably our own fault. We'll see. Our deck seems strong. 
as long as we can hit our land drops like like you do thank you yep and uh it's not gp madison it's called uh mf madison it's a magic fest not a grand prix <laughs> amateurs am i right Uh, this hand is definitely keepable. Dante with the sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Two six drops. Not ideal. But we do have a lot of... We have some early plays here. <laughs> Get it together, Hodge Gulashi. Get it together. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll just play you. Yep, that is a thing. Oh, this is actually going to be gas. God, Fairy Duelist already paying off. God, what a bonkers thing to have. Actually, what does this guy do? Turbo really discards a card. Deals one damage to an opponent or planeswalker. Do you just want to kill that guy? Thank you. I don't want to be discarding cards. One monster, 17 months in a row. Move from Washington to Florida following the footsteps of Ted. Oh god. Oh god. Actually, the new uh the new Netflix true crime documentary about Ted Bundy's been pretty exciting. I'm only on episode two though, so no spoilers. Also, I don't know if you guys have watched Mine Hunters on Netflix, but it is very good and I recommend it highly. So, if you guys get a chance, definitely check out Mine Hunters on Netflix. I imagine the second season will be coming out eventually. And by eventually, I mean probably at some point this year. <clears throat> High Alert just wins us the game, right? Then it's like four, five, six, and we have nine power on board. Yeah, we're just going to drop all these six drops because they don't do much here. Now we're going to kill this guy because you've already spent too much time hurting us. We also play this in such a way that if they play a guy, we can't Lame just binding it, but I think that's fine. Turns out in the end, Ted Bunny is the... Oh, come on, don't spoil it. Dang. High alert. We did not get a high alert. It was a it was a it was a land. Am I moving strictly to arena anytime soon? I don't foresee myself doing that. Because I can't play modern or cube on arena, so it's like it doesn't really suit my audience. Also, what's going on, J Mark? Good seeing you, buddy. I mean, I like Arena. I've done a lot of Arena videos and, and streams. I think it's great. But it's not really... It can't It can't be the all-encompassing magic online, the magic, magic di digital experience that I need, so... Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature power 4 or greater, you do not. So I guess we'll sacrifice... Yeah, this guy's fine. It only it only removes one power from the board for us. I mean, if we draw a high alert, it's worse, but... Yeah, that's fine. MTGA is boring to watch. That's weird to hear because MTGA seems like it's geared towards being the more exciting thing to watch, you know? Okay, well, we're doing one of these jobbies. Ay, ay, ay. Well, five turn clock. <sighs> uh, 
Oh, I wonder what you have now. All right, we're going to block because why not? I guess it deals as it deals a point, so even if they don't have a trick here, which I don't know if they do. Yeah, that's fine. We'll take four. Thank you. All right, well. We were doing great at first, and then you have drawn more things than we have. So now we can actually go land. One, two, three, four, junk troller. I have a great MeUndies story. Oh my god, I want to hear it. <laughs> Tell me about your MeUndies story. MTGA preventing the long tank is a big plus, but also not being... Like, sometimes you have, like, a... Like, sometimes there are plays where you're like, I need to really think about this for, like, three minutes. I don't think it's a big deal. And that's why you get your own clock. And I'm, I'm actually a big fan of that. Um, but, like, one, two, three, four, five. Sure. Like, their clock is actually very good now. Oh, they didn't pump. Sweet. Wow. All right. Joke's on you. I got couriers for days, boy. After listening to Joe Rogan talk about how insane they are, I started talking about them and getting tons of Facebook ads on them. Turns out an ad came across the 20% off any item, so I click and end up finding this huge 20-pack. I tried using the code and it didn't work in the bundle. Turns out it was only good for like a pair or something. Interesting. All right, that's not a great story just yet, but we can get there, I bet. Also, a 20-pack bundle with 20% off is pretty nuts. I had already thrown out the underwear I had. <laughs> well, I guess I'll buy this 20-pack and get rid of this crappy underwear. Yep. All right, so this is actually pretty insane. We would like an, uh, an answer for this for this one dude. Yep, land is good. All right, so now we can go block here, double block here, I guess. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, we've drawn <clears throat> equal amounts of lands and spells. Nope, wait, one extra spell. Oh, they go ahead and give it to you anyway? Oh, that's gas, dude. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I like companies like that. Yeah, it turns out if we actually killed this guy with the summary judgment two turns earlier, we would have had two six drops that we no longer had. I actually, that's obviously where we went wrong this game, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean, what can you do? I definitely wanted to kill that card because I, I thought they would be playing things instead of just using their turns to make us discard a card. But instead I was mistaken. And that is where our, our folly lied. Yep, all right. So, I mean, it would help if we didn't drew 19 lands either, but what can you do? I think my motto is what can you do? I don't think we want anything here. I don't think it's actually like... I'm just gonna submit. If we could, if we could draw like mass manipulation, there steal two of their guys. The only two guys they still had, I would have been pretty okay with it. I will play first. Oh, this is a solid hand, and this is fine. If we can hit a green, it'd be okay. Then it's a uh, turn four Azorius Skyguard, but. <clears throat> I 
they're insanely comfy comfy and their company is cool af yeah that's uh that's pretty much my experience as well i want to put this on the bottom because we just don't need it right now So we're going to play Guildgate here. Oh, look how good we are at this game. God, has anyone in the history of, of Magic been this good at Magic? I don't think so. Of course, it's a 1-1 one -one against the Rakdos deck, so it's not really long for this world. But, you know, we believed it to be true, so it happened. So that's okay. Are you into coffee or tea? Are you asking which one I'm in, am I into or if I'm into either? Yes, I'm into either, and I do like tea better than coffee. To try and get Madrinas. <laughs> oh, does do they actually have tea? I know Luis has a. <clears throat> yep, of course that guy dies. Why wouldn't he? Yep. Like you do, like you do. Yeah, I'm actually gonna bind this guy now because I'm. I ain't even about taking infinite of the turn okay well applied biomancy is worse when you know how many creatures on board oh I knew it I, I knew what you meant I got gotcha. you uh, banana and tea sounds terrible so I'd probably go with banana and coffee boy I sure hope they don't have a removal spell for my flying 3-3 three three. Blue Max, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, it's funny. In the last match, we can actually pinpoint. The last game, we can actually pinpoint exactly when we lost, and it was when we had to get rid of our two two six six our two six drops, um, because <clears throat> it would have substantially changed the game. They didn't seem to have a rule for everything, and a six six really holds back their one threes. So, I mean, if we actually use summary judgment, like we were, we weren't sure if we wanted to use summary judgment, so. We just kind of decided not to. And then it got to a point where they didn't actually play anything else. So then we had to. Don't ruin stuff. I try every day, but some days it doesn't work out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> well, at least you're honest with yourself, and that's the important thing. Yeah, those are both fine. I got big floaty boys. This is creature three or less with power three or less. Okay, sure. Does it untap it too? It has to, right? Yeah, that's pretty good if it does. I guess I'll take three.
I mean, if they want to steal this and then block here, that's a thing. But we're actually at a point where we can just apply Biomancy plus this guy, bounce my own guy, and oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can just do that next turn. Oh, we actually can't do both. Oh, we can actually bounce this guy, right, and replay it. This is only a sorcery, right? Oh, interesting. Yeah, let's do that then. They can't do that at all. Reading any good books these days? I haven't read... I'm, 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 I'm just mostly reading comics currently. Do we just use this for one on, like, the Hacrobat? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think so. I think it's just better to keep the Applied Biomancy up. Stealing two guys is much better than stealing one. And they, If they sack this to steal this, they're dealing three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we just win the game. Okay. Actually, summary judgment number three might be great for this for this matchup. Maybe we can take out one applied biomancy because I feel like summary judgment might just be a little bit better. Kills pretty much all of their creatures. What's good in the comic world? Lots of things. Pretty much pick up anything by Donny Cates. Anything Donny Cates is writing right now is pretty much fire. That dude can write a story. Same. I feel the same way with Hickman. Hickman and Donny Cates are where you want to be. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I'm not sure about Supergirl just because I don't read a ton of DC. Blue Max, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Have I cast Watchful Giant? I actually haven't. It's pretty decent, though. I'm going to mulligan this hand, though. I mean, Giant might be better than Scuttle Gator, just because it is two bodies to block one of their Menace guys. You know what? Sure. I think our odds of hitting a white are pretty high, and if we hit any land, we can play Senate Courier. Oh, man, that's real good. Can't do it without a white, though. <clears throat> Uh, well, that's not a white source. Oh, uh, I, I rarely... Re I'm not a big anime fan. I don't mind anime. I just, I just I just don't gravitate towards it. Well, all right. That's double Senate career. That's not nothing. That's... <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, that, that Donny Cates support. That's nice. Well done, Meg. Well done. Yeah, Donny Cates kind of came out of nowhere, and he wrote the he wrote the, the ending portion of the Thanos limited series for Marvel, uh, which was insanely hot. You guys might remember this from, like, it was, I think it was last year or the year before. And uh, he just kind of took off because everything he started writing was just absolute gold. I was like, this is entertaining and wonderful, and I... Uh, I'm all about it right now. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm in this weird position where I'd love to have more lands. Or more more white mana, I guess, is uh, more more accurate. A white, One single white mana would be nice. Oh, I haven't read God Country. That sounds like it'd be Vertigo. That sounds like a Vertigo title. Is it an image title? It could be image actually too. It is image. Okay. It sounds like it sounds it's a name that's reminiscent of things like a Gideon Falls or um Oblivion Is it Oblivion? Oblivion what's this what's the friggin' title's name? I can't think of it. The stupid the stupid what's his name? Nope, don't do that. 
So just to be clear, we have two high alerts in our deck, and uh, we have yet to draw them, so... If we can just Windmill Slam White Source into high alert, I don't know how we lose with this board, but, you know, stranger things have happened. <clears throat> No blocks. Oh wow, they're gonna play four drop here. Okay. <sighs> no four drop? Three drop. What's happening right now? Because you could have pumped this if you didn't if you weren't going to play a 4-drop. Well, that's something, isn't it? I mean, it's fine. We get to kill it next turn, ideally, right? They also, yeah, they also, they could have pumped this and then actually made it so we could be at actual 16 instead. Now they turn on their spectacles. Can someone tell me Oblivion? I keep wanting to say Oblivion Ring, but it's not called Oblivion Ring. What the hell is that? It's by Oblivion. I'm just going to look up Oblivion Image. Image Comics. Oblivion Song. There you go. By Robert Kirkman. Dang it, that took forever. Yeah, Gideon Falls and Oblivion Song are like the two the two series that are getting uh, a lot of attention, I think. I'll make this block. If you want to trade for both of these, I still get a 1-1. One, one. I mean, Hacker Rat's really strong, so... Yep, you got it. Give me that D touch. I'm gonna put the messenger on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I don't care about that guy. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of like this to be able to just tap this guy down, which is pretty much the same thing. Only a better use of mana. They have six cards in their hand? Good lord, man. God, do I have to read Good God Country 2 now? Fucking Donny Cates. Oh, God. Where do, where do you find the time? Oh, apparently my subs are up to four. Oh, it's because of the Josh. Okay, I was like, oh, my parents are actually up to 43. Sure, must be nice. If we killed this guy last turn, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Yep, if we killed this guy last turn, they wouldn't get their hacker bat back, so. Well, at least they wouldn't be able to get... Um, At least they wouldn't be able to get this guy back. If we had a land there, we could have also played Senate Griffin, so... Lots of things are not going great. If we had a second white, we can just kill this guy before it deals damage, so... I don't think we have any ways to shuffle our library, but I mean, nonetheless, like 
There's no downside to putting cards in there. I also don't think our deck has any way to get anything back. Mm-hmm. I think we're still okay here. Any land would have been great for us because then we can play two spells in one turn, whereas right now we're still con confined to one spell per turn, which is pretty unbelievably frustrating. We block here, we take one, two, three, four. Uh, they pump this, make it five, six. They can't also pump, th well, they can six, seven, so we go to three. So we take one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to literal one. And, and that's if they have nothing else. Well, if they have something, they can't do either of these things. So We can play one card this turn. Like, what's the most impactful card? Maybe Summary Judgment. They're going to go to six, and then we're only going to be able to put three, four, five power on board. Whereas if we had another land, we could play both and put literal lethal power on board. And they'd have to deal with that, but... Super frustrating. I think we're just keeping summary judgment because it prevents five damage here. And we can't put lethal on board, so. Okay. Whatever they're targeting, we're putting it on the... Oh, we can't even do that because we, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose a blocker. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Gain two. All right, well, they can't do all the things, so that's nice. Block the big dude. I'm sure they're going to pump Hackrobat, which we're going to kill. Sure, resolves. You're not going to pump Hackrobat. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still the biggest creature, so I guess we'll kill it anyway. It's weird. I don't know why you wouldn't. I guess you're going to play one more, dude. Yeah. All right. Clearly. Oh, God. I'm so exhausted with this game, dude. Oh my god. Like, I don't even have it in me to attack at this moment. Like, it's super frustrating. I, I don't even do the math, but like, if we attack with even one dude, I think we're just dead. exhausting this is a game where like anything that could have gone wrong has like it's it's pretty shocking to be quite honest I mean it's turn 12 we missed our 6 land drop for 7 turns with a 6 drop in hand and then our 6 land drop was actually a tapped land so we still couldn't play 2 spells in 1 turn Meanwhile, they got stuck on lands for like a million turns, like double red, and then we were just like unable to take advantage of that.
Uh, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. We go to one, and actually we're dead if they pump. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to concede here because it's just pointless. It's extremely frustrating. I think our, actually, our deck is actually pretty good, but... Yep. Oh, boy. It's okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. My luck in this format has been... I, it's funny. I've been having a good time playing this format, but my, my luck in this format has been pretty bad. Um, and I guess figuring out the format has also been pretty rough because I'm clearly not doing it very well. I don't know. Any deck I'm excited about? No. Not, none that I can think of. I haven't been focusing on standard, though, so I, I couldn't tell you. Unfortunately. Yep. Par for the course. Sure. Yeah, infinite turn sounds pretty miserable. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it'd be great if I didn't have to mulligan every single game or get stuck on one or two lands. I mean, that would be... I think that would be a great... Um, <clears throat> a great change towards towards victory. But, um, you know, unfortunately... We have no control over that, so... Alright, well, this guy being a 3-3 three -three is not super intimidating. Yeah, fuck me, right? cool <laughs> never don't have it all right well we, we we tried we're having a good time ain't even gonna wait not even gonna wait for that guy to be a 4-4 oh you got something else Double high alert. Still want to talk about the double high alert that we have on our deck. Two high alerts. We have played three games, so four games so far. We have not seen a high alert once. Just wanted to make sure we're clear on that. Zero high alerts in, in four separate games so far, and there are two in the deck. Yep. All right. Well, cool. Thankfully, as an 0-1 player, I just got to play against an 0-0 player who is an exceptional deck. So that's nice. That is a bonus. Perks, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, I feel like I'm being real salty right now, but boy, am I tired of it. Boy, am I tired of it. Anyway, you guys have my apologies for the salty nature that this stream has taken on. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Let's keep this hand with no white sources in it because, I mean, our odds of drawing a white have to be, like, pretty high, right? Oh. 
just noticed I got a gifted sub. <laughs> hey, we did it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I think our deck is actually really sweet. We have a lot of removal. We have solid threats. We have two high alerts that can combo into things. And, um... Yep. I guess untap it. Oh, they didn't. Wow, that's great. Fascinating. All right, well, this is quad blue, so we're going to need some... Any, any blues I find on the top. Yeah, we'll just leave that. We have two six drops in hand. I'm not going to... I'm not going to forsake an island on the top of our library for that. All right. <laughs> Marari's Wake would be gas here, but I'm sure they'd have no way to remove an enchantment, even though there, I don't think there is one in green or red. I'm sure they'd find one. Hmm. Fascinating. <laughs> we can actually give this guy plus one, plus one, and then uh, exile it with the Bring the Trial. That's actually pretty hilarious. Uh, why no arena? Because I was filling magic online today. No real particular reason. People just prefer both, so. And I'm sure there's going to be an Armada Worm coming down here. Armada Worm? Armada Ramp Rampager? Armada? Rampager Worm? I have no idea what the hell that card's called. You know, the busted mythic rare that my opponent seems to have. Yeah, that's fine. Our model room was pretty sweet. I agree. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so if we hit two lands, we can actually steal two things, which is nice. Just attack, just casual attack for six. Yep, seems good. The funny thing is, the scuttle gator that we took out will be easily able to block this guy, whereas the watchful giant we put in cannot. So, that's where we are right now. That's about where we are in life. Oh, they didn't give it haste? Oh, wow. That's humongous. Wow. If they gave it haste, we'd be at four right now. Or we'd be at five right now. But this guy would be tapped, so it wouldn't be able to block, and they could probably just kill us with this thing. Okay, so you're going to pump it again. Okay, and then you're going to fight. And then we're going to take seven, right? Yeah, of course. Never never don't have the, the exact three cards you need in order to, uh, to come out ahead. That seems good. I mean, we're at two. They have no cards in hand. Is that terrible? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> That's probably terrible. Um, mm -hmm. Well, 
let's see if your top deck mode is any good. It was not. All right. Seems good. Oh, I just scare the critics. Kill you. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I don't think there's any trample cards, so I'm not super worried about that, but... Nope, seems fine. Hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play two things this turn. Not bad. <sighs> Colossus is also uncommon, so I'm not super worried about it. Um... I could see just blocking here and Law Mage is binding this idiot. I think we're just going to play this guy for now and keep up Fairy Duelist. I want to get more guys on the board so that when we, next time we can High Alert and Binding and deal a lot of damage. Just this guy, huh? This actually could be a blowout. Because they're going to pump it to a 6-5. And we're going to make it a 4-5. Which means it doesn't get to kill anything, nor does it actually get to... Mm -hmm. And they're one mana shy of pumping it three times. Mm -hmm. And how much damage is this? 5, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16. Well, this game turned around, but I don't know. Yeah, that was a pretty good combat for us. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no trick. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is like... They have to block here. So I'm pretty sure it's just Alpha City. Because you already have a blocker. Like, they have to block here or else they're dead. Yep. Seems fine. <sighs> oh my god. Woo! I uh I have no idea what happened here. Okay, so <laughs> Oh man. Thank you. Pernicious dude, welcome back, buddy. My this has been quite honestly the last eleven months of the what wait, what has? Oh, the stream itself? Anytime, buddy. Glad to have you around. You are good people. Even though you get so aggressive sometimes. My god, you get so aggressive. Uh, Root Snare might be playable, but I feel like there's just better things, right? Like, Summary Judgment's got to be a little better. Applied Biomancy's got to be decent. Fourteen Creatures seems like a lot. Bring to Trial seems good. All the individual card, all our decks seems decent. 
Like, I'm tempted to just bring in one of these two just because, like, they had the trick once, but if they don't have it, like, summary judgment's just very good. Minister, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. After all these subs, we're still not past the 43 that we were at when Josh gifted the 10. Like, subs are so weird, dude. I have no idea how Twitch works. Um... I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is good. Yep, I will keep this hand, as it has all of our colors and enough lands to last for three turns. I think the 06 is fine. It blocks pretty much everything in their deck. Oh, wow, that's really, that's a great hit for a light up the stage. Holy smokes. They have no way to take advantage of this, and they can't cast this guy next turn. Wow, they might as well have discarded this. Why do they play a land first in case they hit a, in case they hit two lands? Like, that's weird. Oh, yeah, we've, we're, we're living this dream for sure. Also, getting rid of both of these guys is really great. I'd only run the 06 if I had two highlights. Well, thankfully, thankfully we do have two highlights. Thankfully, we do. Well, we don't have another three drops, so we're going to play this spicy boy. And they're going to scorch market, but that's that's life. They didn't scorch market. Are we actually doing well in this game? Oh, yeah, make it a 4-4. Beautiful. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Unfortunately... I have to bring you to trial, my friend. Yep, you got it. You got it. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. I don't think the one damage is worth taking down a, a Biomancy. Like, if they actually try to kill this guy, I might bounce it. Yeah, that's fine. They have one card in hand? This seems like it's pretty okay. Put your cats on trial. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, I knew it was going to be a land, because I'm like, now we're at the point in the game where we just draw a million lands, so. Whatever. <laughs> he was convicted of, he was convicted of trampling over things what, during his riot. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the best course of action when we're, like, feeling ahead of you. I walked back and heard the hilariously obnoxious slurp at the beginning of the cast. Oh, good times. Oh, no attacks. I like it. Still waiting to draw a high alert when it matters. We drew it once last game, so I guess that I guess that's gotta count for something, but. Cobra Laserface, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome to six months of Frank and Mike. No regrets yet. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are the hero we need. So now we can go one, two, three, play courier. We can also play Junk Troller here, which I think is fine. I don't think we need to keep up these yet. And if we have just an 06 on board to block the 4-4 lands, I think it's pretty okay. Unless they were just worrying, waiting for the right moment. Oh, now your shields are down. I can play my land and my 6-drop. <laughs> yeah. Having two of your frenzied Erynxes uh, exiled in different ways is pretty nice.
I see. <clears throat> well then, this guy's had defender, so I don't care about that. This guy's a 6-6. Six, six. I'll just probably take it and then bounce it. Yeah, we can go to 10 here. Oh, this guy's a 2-4 now. Ah, that's dumb. Well, that's what's known as misplay. That's fine. I mean, we're just gonna we're still gonna use the ability, so it's not super bad, but mm, plus one bounce. Blue and green. I mean it definitely would have been just better to save this guy so we can use the other duelist, but And now we have the mana to uh, to have actually given this guy vigilance, but they have no creatures, so I don't think it matters currently. But yep, that is obnoxious when we have two floaty boys. One thing I've noticed in this format is that, like, there's some threats that certain decks just don't have that many efficient ways to deal with. They're at 10. We're both at 10. Can we give Vigilance here and just attack for 4? You block here, you take... No, you block here, 100%. I don't think we need to get Vigilance, though. I think it's fine without. I want to make sure we're ahead on life when they... Um, if they're going to keep pinging us, I want to just make sure we're a little bit ahead here. Yep, that is a fine dude. actually pretty good all right let's do that all right let's get rid of this guy so this is six and it puts them in a position where they probably can't activate spear spewer that much more I am surprised we won that match. All right, well, one one. I feel like our deck is good enough to be one to be to two zero here, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Do we just mulligan this hand? See, again, like, no white, and you're like, eh, five drop, six drop. Yeah, okay, sure.
Spaghetti toucher it is what it is bit 100 is what it is bits appreciate it buddy <laughs> oh man well they got a little bore out well I want to save the fairy duelist until next turn but I don't think yeah, it's fine, I guess. I just feel like we're so far behind in situations like this. Senate Griffin can't block this guy once it's pumped. Do I have a fourth land? Ooh, no fourth land, but another another Aeromunculus. If they don't hit a land, Senate Griffin's nice as a blocker here. If they, it's probably just Messenger. Messenger can also keep this guy at bay. Well, now we can't block. No blocks, going to 10 already, all right, all right. That's actually pretty good because we can play Duelist too. Oh, that's actually nice. Let's keep up. I'm okay with this. Yep, that's fine. I imagine you're just gonna like. Let them attack. This guy triggers. We shall duelist. Uh, two three can block two three one two can block oh two we're gonna take five here but this is actually a great combat for us I'm just gonna pass plan on double blocking we should we should be okay at this point adapt is kind of like monstrous from Theros yeah I agree with that that sounds about correct They do have five cards in hand. I imagine mana is their uh, their limit their limiting factor here. Yeah, even if we double block and they have they end up being able to kill this guy, we still have Senate Griffin. We still have lots of ways to not super worry about it. So they go bounce pump. Yep, they are paying costs. Sure. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in a position just to steal this. Like, or we can actually wait a turn. Like, we're just gonna chump block here. If we draw one more land, right? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can actually try to hit a land here, and I think it's actually stronger than just randomly. It's actually also just good. 
All right, that's fine. Oh, didn't want to do that actually. Well, that's unfortunate, but I think we're still okay. Yep, well, that is sad. Uh, we're going to chump block here because we're going to steal this now, and then we're just going to double block here. Oh, no, we actually have the removal spell, right? So we can actually kill this and then chump block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's still better to wait, but not really. Not much, not much better. Yeah, this is rough now. Being at one is rough. There's a lot of things they could have. No, like another Chillbringer, which they were just waiting to cast with their five mana. <laughs> God. Never fails. I guess that's fine. Does that? Huh. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, the eighth land has been pretty elusive here. Applied biogenetics, or whatever that card is called. Yep. Cool. <sighs> we were like one mana away from uh, stabilizing, I think, and uh, that's sad. I think Summary Judgment's probably very good in this deck, or in this matchup here. Take one of the applied biomancies. You know what? Sure. This is, might be one of the better hands we've had. Turn two Pegasus into turn three High Alert? Yeah, let's do that. Herb alert? I don't even know what that means. What are you even saying right now? What's a herb alert? Unfortunately, this is a non-bow with high alert, but... Is a herb alert like a high alert? Oh, bottom. All right. Well. <laughs> That's when the cops are coming for your weed and you gotta hide it. I feel another 1-2 coming on. I'm not thrilled about it, especially because I kind of like this deck, but...
I'm gonna hold back here. Of course, it's gonna be other land. One, two, three, four to seven. Four to seven. Never fails. Sure. So we go Chillbringer, attack for four. We go this guy, they go Chillbringer again, attack for four, seven. Sure. Oh, that's pretty decent. Don't gotta hide it, just unplug that lettuce. It's less, it's less electric that way. That's a good point. It is a solid electric strategy. Okay, so this guy costs two to, two to pump now, and one to pump that guy. That's a good deal. It was a solid deal. I think we're still okay here. I think we're taking four from this guy, but boy okay so now we're now we just have it all so six Yeah, I'd rather just pump one of these guys and get rid of this guy forever. Okay. Chillbringer, Chillbringer. Bring me your chills. That's a good card for the Muslim beams. I don't really want to attack here because if they have any removal spell, it puts us in a bad position. Now it doesn't really do anything, but it costs four mana, so it's kind of intensive. Yeah, high learn and tap stuff. It costs four though. Yep, you got it. That's a cute little homunky buddy. That's a six six. Okay, I just want to make sure Vigilance was on there. <laughs> Didn't want to be like, oh, is there Vigilance? They can just block here. But then they kind of have to block. Yeah, that's fine. We're at eight. I think we're actually okay here. All right, we did it.
Is this format fun? I've enjoyed it. I feel like I've gotten the uh, the short end of the luck slash mana stick, but... Would you rather have a laser face or a taser face? I think those might have to be more well-defined so I really know what I'm what I'm getting myself into. Every day, thousands of butts don't get the chance to attack. With your support, we can play cards like High Alert and change that one butt at a time. In the arms of a butt, far away from here. All three of these are lethal, which is nice. So they kind of got to have an answer. I always wonder why it takes people so long to realize how dead they are. It takes me a while. I'm like, all right, there's got to be some way out. Because you're spending your time trying to figure out if you're not that dead. Right? Like, you want to be like, all right, but what if I'm not dead? His hand is like a grizzly bear and a man elf. <laughs> I bet it's like applied biomancy and they're like, let's see if we can play this applied biomancy and win the game right here on the spot. Oh. oh man. God. What's the hold up? Actually, I'm pretty sure I shut my cell phone alarm off and that's why I haven't been waking up on time. I did, that is why I do not. All right, well, that's not good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, man. Oh, did they just tap that guy down again? That's fascinating. All three of these are lethal, right? So the problem is they can actually tap, make this guy a three-three, right? The next time a creature adapts its turn, adapts it had no plus one plus one counters on it, so they can go, oh, this guy. Next time he adapts, then they can adapt it and make it a three-five. Yeah, we're gonna keep this guy back. So they're probably going to block here and make it a 3-5. I wonder if they see that. They have to see that, right? They did not. Fascinating. Do we still risk it and kill this guy? we try to kill this guy? I don't think so. Okay, you have to block here then, right? And you have to block here. All these things are lethal. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. Okay, all of this is fine. Okay, none of this is fine. You change your mind. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, not not that either. All right. Okay, that's probably a better choice. It is a significantly worse creature. Oh, they're just bouncing. Nope, they're not bouncing. Okay, they figured it out. Yep, that's what we assumed you would do. Now it's funny because if they have one removal spell for this Azorius Skyguard. No, I guess we take three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're not dead. I'm not gonna, we don't have lethal. I'm not gonna acknowledge lethal if we don't actually have lethal. Oh yeah, that's true. If they get rid of this guy, it's real bad for us. We're dead if they can get rid of this guy. I don't think they can or else they wouldn't have tanked this long, but you know what? Who knows? Magic's hard. Magic is a hard game. see a weird distribution I'm not sure that's okay well we have to block here or else we die why did it get another counter oh because this guy's off the board now yeah sure Wow. Yep, and that'll do. All right. <laughs> That's the old one, too, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, we are not doing very well, unfortunately. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Some like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And uh, you can also find me at meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.